Howdy folks, Nathan here and welcome to a video of High Adventure. Now, what is this vehicle? It is a 2024 Kia Sorento X Pro. What does that mean? In this video, you're going to learn exactly what that means because we're gonna be taking it off-road and that's what they say it's for, kind of. You wanna know what this is all about? I'm resting on it. It's all about tires, not really about suspension or a special trick off-road package. There's no real locker in it or anything like that, but they did manage to do something which I think is kind of awesome, and that is put on these BF Goodrich Trail Terrain tires. Now, these are 235 65R17s. Now, for those of you who are from the Stone Age like I am, that's a normal <laughs> tire and wheel size. Back in the day, that was like normal. It's okay, it's fine. And if you can see here, there's still plenty of room to clear the brake. They probably can't go any smaller than a 17 inch wheel. If they went smaller, it'd probably rub against the brake. But the reason I bring that up is because of sidewall. Once again, 235.65. So you got a pretty chunky sidewall on a tire that as far as I'm concerned is one of the better compromises of off-road tires because the BF Goodrich KO2, which is really good off-road, it's okay on the road. This is better on the road, not quite as good as a KO2 off-road. That's where this comes into its own because I've already tested it. And this, on this vehicle, well, it works. A couple things I wanted to point out about this vehicle off-road in terms of the way the suspension works, but also the way the transmission works because it is sending power to the back. As a matter of fact, it has torque vectoring. So it can take power that's needed, send it to the rear wheels, and then go side by side with the rear wheels. That's huge, but there's another thing, and it's a button that's right here. That says lock. So I'm gonna push it, El Pusho Loco. And if you look up here, you can kind of see it says lock. Now, that's actually a clutch. It's not really like, you know, a transfer case. So I want you to keep that part in mind because you go too fast, it will disengage. But what it's doing is it's sending 50% of the power up front and 50% of the power to the rear all the time. So as I go over these obstacles, it's pulling as much as it's pushing. Think of it as birth. because. <laughs> birth canal. Okay, so the final part about this off-roading, the best part about this vehicle, I think, is the fact that traction is just not an issue on light obstacles. But what I'm about to do is take it on the hardest obstacle for crossovers at Tumbleweed Ranch. Now, foot's flat. There we go. Oh, she doesn't like that one bit. Oh, doesn't like that either. There we go. Ha ha ha! Boy, I had to push the hell out of it, but it did it. It did it. And part of that has to do, once again, with those tires. Now, you're asking yourself, hey, did I deflate those tires? Did I air down? Hell no. If you're coming up to a road, like a fire road or whatever, and it's a difficult obstacle, but you're in the middle of something and whatever, you're not going to jump out and air down. Hey, hold on, honey. It's an emergency, but I need to air down. So my point of view is that in this particular case, with this type of obstacle, which honestly isn't that difficult, not a big deal. Breakover angle, 17 degrees. That's not great. But fortunately, because of that 8.2 inch lift, it's manageable. We've taken it on some obstacles and we haven't scraped the belly, knock on wood, yet. Departure angle, 22.1 degrees. Actually surprisingly good. But here's the thing about that. This vehicle can tow, right? In fact, it tows more than its brethren. 4,500 pounds. This one doesn't appear to have a tow package on it right now. So I'm curious to see whether or not putting a tow hitch on the back of this thing would change the departure angle. One final point is that it's wheelbase 110.8 inches. It's not huge. Look at it this way. This is larger than a Honda CRV, but it's smaller than a regular Toyota Highlander. It puts it smack in the middle, yet it has a third row seat. It doesn't compete against a lot of vehicles, but even the Mitsubishi Outlander, believe it or not, competes directly with this because wheelbase and the third row seat size. 
but there aren't a lot of other ones out there that do that. Aha! This is a magic engine. And that's because it has a wimpy little brother that I know well. And that's because that powertrain is essentially inside of my Santa Cruz. This one, however, is turbocharged. So it puts out 281 horsepower, 311 pound-feet of torque. This is a 2.5 liter. Let me show you something. It's a vehicle that's very interesting because its cargo space is sort of in the middle of the market. Now, back here in this area, first of all, if you're curious, let's see. Oh, well, there it goes. Yeah, not a lot of space. Enough room for Roman's toupees and tooth whitening stuff right there. He would be thrilled. Wanted to talk about the drive quality of the Sorento and the fact that the X-Pro has those 17 inch wheels, but really beefy, chunky tires by comparison, instead of getting like 20s or 21s or whatever, it makes all the difference in the world. The ride quality is really good. It's relatively quiet. I mean, I'm going over some really rocky, well not rocky, but bumpy roads right here that are partially, um, you know, potholed and whatnot. Not a big deal. So the suspension has been dialed in. The ride quality is quite good. It's fairly quiet, very good cross country vehicle. We've already driven the hell out of these things going all over Colorado. Transmission, not really my friend. Acceleration can be a little laggy. Also the steering, the steering's really vague. Think 1980s larger sedans and you kind of have the general idea. But then again, this is built for moving people. It's not built for performance. And that's the one thing. Throwing this around a corner, it leans a lot. It does not want a corner. And those tires I've been raving about, they don't like to be pushed with hard performance, with lateral performance, right? Those two things just don't work on those tires. Once again, locked up. By the way, turning radius, yeah, I remember I mentioned a 110.8 inch um, wheelbase. Yeah, it makes for a difficult um, thing for traversing. That's a 17 degree uh, breakover angle, right? None of that stuff is easy for a car like this. Whoa, wheel up in the air. Okay, more. Once again, momentum, you need it or else you can't do it in this case. Hey, I just coined a new phrase. Momentum, you need it or you can't do it. <laughs> okay, I think she's had enough, folks. But I can tell you, it's not an off-roader. But if you need it to do some light off-roading, it can do it.